Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I welcome you all to our, in this lunch, our service. Praise the Lord. My name is Henry Simba, who is bringing to you God's word in Matthew chapter 8 this afternoon. Praise the Lord. So let us pray briefly and uh, we hear God's message. Our God and our Father, we give you thanks that you have brought us in your presence this afternoon. Lord, not in our strength, but only in uh, that righteousness of Christ which was given unto us, we come before you this afternoon. Lord, would you please hear our petitions and accept all our praises this afternoon in the name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming. Uh, our topic this afternoon is, actually comes from the same uh, 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 book, uh, the Gospel according to Matthew, which our reverend has read to us, the presence of God in the midst of the storm. The presence of God in the midst of the storm. So this afternoon, um, the topic which we have confirms that God is present while we pass through the storm. God is present while we pass through the storms. I don't know the kind of storm you're passing through this afternoon or since the week began. The assurance is this afternoon that God is present. Praise the Lord. That's the good news actually this afternoon. That God is present even in that storm that you are passing through. Praise the Lord. The psalmist in Psalm 46 verse 1, he said... God is our refugee and strength, a very present help in trouble. He went ahead and said, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. I do not know the afflictions which you are passing through. The good news is, God is going to deliver you from all those afflictions. Praise the Lord. So, in Psalm 34, verse 17, he says, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears and delivers them out of their troubles. This afternoon, we are going to cry out to the Lord and he's going to hear us. Praise the Lord. We are going to rise our cries unto the Lord this afternoon and he's going to hear each one of us. Praise the Lord. And the people whom we represent. Amen. He said, when you pass through the waters, I'll be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flames scorch you. Praise the Lord. We have a wonderful testimony of our brothers. Uh, the what? Daniel. Daniel is friends in uh, Daniel chapter 3. They threw them in a furnace of fire, only to find there was a fourth person. There, there, there was another being. Praise the Lord. And Nebuchadnezzar said, this one appears like the sons of, uh, the, 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 whatever, the sons of God, a son of God. Praise the Lord. Let me assure you this afternoon that there is another being in that furnace which you are passing through. And his name is our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. In Exodus chapter 3, the burning bush experience. The bush 
was burning, but it was not caught with the fire. What is the implication there? The children of Israel were passing through the furnace, given a lot of work by uh, the taskmasters. But even in such a kind of situation, the Lord was with them. And uh, that is why, actually, the whole thing is, they were in such a troublesome situation, but uh, it, it, could not, uh, it could not actually... They were passing through the, 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 the furnace, but it's like the fires were not scorching them. Much as they were given hard labor, but it's like... You know, God was with them to overcome whatever situation they were passing through. Praise the name of the Lord. The assurance we have in Christ Jesus is that our present suffering cannot be compared to the glory which is yet to be revealed. Praise the Lord. Now, let me tell you something. Having known that he is present, Jesus, here, Today. And he is with us in everything that we are passing through. So then the question is, what are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? We are going to pray. Praise the Lord. Prayer is one of those avenues that God has given to us through which we speak to him. Praise the Lord. We make prayers of thanksgiving, prayers of intercession. We, make, we give, actually, yeah, prayers of petition. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, we are going to present our petitions to our God. And he's going to hear us and answer. Praise the Lord. That's why we have the other man called Jeremiah, prophet Jeremiah. In Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3, call to me and I will answer. Praise the Lord. This afternoon, we are going to call unto the Lord and he's going to answer instantly. Praise the Lord. Now, let us go to our passage. Hope you're already there. Matthew chapter 8, verse 23, up to 27. Jesus comes in the storm. Praise the Lord. And when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swept by the waves. But he was asleep. Who is this man that was sleeping? This is Jesus, our Lord. He was sleeping. Jesus, the God man, he did all his ministry here on earth, as a man filled with the Holy Spirit. So Jesus, the God man filled with the Holy Spirit, at this point, he fell asleep. Just like you and me. You know, after doing all what you're supposed to do in, uh, during the course of the day, you, you, you become tired. A lot of fatigue, then you need to go and rest. Himself, he also needed rest. Why? When you go back where our chapter begins from, in, uh, look at verse 1. Matthew chapter 8, from verse 1 up to, um, up to verse 4. There is a leper. Jesus healed this leper. From there he went. Downwards, when you read, there is this centurion. He wanted his uh, son, no, 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 his servant to be healed. Praise the Lord. So when you go down to verse 14, Jesus is uh, healing people who are tormented with demons. So he was casting out the evil spirits. The Bible says in verse uh, 16, that evening they brought to him many, many who were oppressed by demons and he cast out the spirits with the word and healed all who were sick. Take note, he cast out the spirit with a word. Praise the Lord. So the ministry which he had done previously, he became tired. He was also tired. A lot of fatigue. So he needed to rest the previous evening. So now, as they were sailing, 
sailing, rolling on this boat. Uh, so he was sleeping. Praise the Lord. Now, and they went, I beg your pardon, uh, verse 25 says, and they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. Uh, and he said to them, Why are you afraid? You, or you of little faith. Then he said, Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. Praise the Lord. So now you may think that. Uh, um, let me see. In verse 26, uh, that the disciples, uh -uh, verse 25, I beg your pardon. Verse 25, that they did a right thing to wake him up. Because he's uh, the master. Praise the Lord. By the way, even the Bible says that call unto the name of the Lord. And for them, they were with the Lord. So they woke him up. Serve us, serve us, Lord. But what they did was not something right in, you know, at that time. It wasn't right. Why am I saying so? When you read the next verse, verse 26, he asked them, why are you afraid? Oh, you of little faith. So what does this word faith mean? In, what does it mean here in this passage? What does it imply? To us, the believers here at All Saints Cathedral, everyone who is listening to this message this afternoon, the kind of faith which, which Jesus is speaking to us this afternoon is not that faith which brings us to him. Praise the Lord. The kind of, you know, the faith whereby, the, it's not this faith through which we become saved through which we become born again. Praise the Lord. Hope I'm not confusing anyone. Where it says that by the grace of God, through faith in Jesus Christ, we are saved. It's not that kind of faith. The faith which Jesus is talking about here in this passage is that faith whereby he wants me and you to exercise our authority in him. And we command the enemy. And we cast out demons. Praise the Lord. And we confront the giants which are taking over the land. Praise the Lord. The giant which is sitting at your place of work. The giant which is sitting in your marriage, making it unfruitful, making it uh, uh, terrible. Praise the Lord. So he wants us by now, today, to command those giants to live, to exercise our authority in him. And we command things to happen. Praise the Lord. So this afternoon, we are going to command things and they are going to happen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are going to take much of, you know, the next period in prayer. The psalmist said, ask a question. In Psalm 11, verse 3, he said, if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? He asked the question. It happened at a time when David was being persecuted by King Saul. He was on run. So he was asking, what, you know, when, if the foundations are destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous run to the temple. God is on his throne in the temple. The Bible says, praise the Lord. Yes, we run to him, our Lord, in his holy temple. His eyes behold, his eyelids touch the sons of men. The good news is, the good news this afternoon, that the barrier was broken.
and the curtain was torn. Today, all believers present their petitions to him in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. We are going to petition him. So now the question is, someone asked this question. She asked, if all is well, why am I this way? If all is well, why am I this way? I want you to ask Jesus. Let us ask Jesus this afternoon. Jesus, if all is well, why am I this way? This is Rebecca, Isaac's wife in the Bible. Genesis chapter 25, verse uh, 22. She asked, if all is well, why am I this way? Every time they promise to, you know, my promotion and the place of work, you know, they cancel it. I've never received it. Money does not sleep. Stay on my account. Why? If all is well, why am I not having a stable financial or whatever bank account? There is no money on the account. Okay, if all is well, why am I not, you know, why am I, you know, you know, the marriage, there is no peace in the marriage. If all is well, we are going to ask God. Praise the Lord. He said, if you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. This is Jesus who was speaking. He was speaking to his disciples in John chapter 14, verse 14. If you ask anything in my name, I'll do it. I invite you to stand up. We are going to ask everything in the name of the Lord. I don't know what you want to tell the Lord, but you know that very thing. I have a few prayer points here. So, the whole thing is uh, this afternoon, Jesus wants us to exercise uh, our authority in him and we speak, we command things to happen. Praise the Lord. So we are going to command things and they are going to happen. Barrenness, corruption, uh, this whole noise you hear at 4 a.m. We are going to command all that noise to be erased from this land. Praise the Lord. Accidents on the roads. Praise the Lord. Let us rise up on our feet. Someone, uh, praise the Lord. Be doing this and we pray. So what the enemy wants, you know, he uses the fear. He uses the worry. He wants to make the people of God to be worried. That's why Jesus was telling these men, his disciples, why are you afraid? I want us to tell the Lord that, Lord, today I choose not to be worried because worry turns a small thing into a big shadow. The Lord has not given us the spirit of timidity. He has given us a spirit of love and sound mind. Praise the Lord. So we are going to pray. I want us to ask God to give us the spirit of power, of love, and of sound mind. This one is going to counteract the fear, the spirit of fear, which the disciples were facing in this passage. Praise the Lord that they failed to command and speak to the winds and to the storm to be calm. I don't know the storm you're passing through. Let us deal with this one, the fear. Lord Jesus, in, the, in your name this afternoon, Lord, we thank you for the assurance we have in your word, in the name of the Lord Jesus. For it is written in Timothy, 2 Timothy 1, 7, Lord, you have not given us fear. This fear, Lord, we rebuke it this afternoon in the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, we rebuke fear in the name of the Lord Jesus and even worry. Oh God, your word tells us in Matthew 6 verse 25, following that we do not worry about anything. Lord, I choose not to be worried about anything. Not to be worried about house rent. Not to be worried about the school fee. Not to be worried about what we go, we're going to eat. Not to be worried about the clothes we, uh, we were going to put on. I choose not to worry about anything this afternoon. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh Lord, I ask you Lord that you give to us this afternoon the spirit of 
of power, the spirit of love and sound mind in the name of the Lord Jesus. We give you thanks, praise and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. When you go back where chapter 8 begins from those four verses, the leper, the leper, he came to Jesus. Despite of his condition, he worshipped the Lord. The Bible tells us, let me see. And Jesus, the leper came to Jesus. He knelt before him. Can you imagine the leper? These people were segregated in those days in Israel because of that sickness, the leper. But what he did, he knelt before Jesus because he knew that his healing was going to come from Jesus. Praise the Lord. He had knowledge about Jesus. This... Praise the Lord. Now, despite of what you're passing through, I want you to raise your voice and sing praises. You speak words which praise the name of the Lord. You speak words which exalt him despite of what you're passing through because he is the one who is going to bring a solution. It might delay, but he will indeed do it. Because you are a son of God. Praise the Lord. Let us raise up our voices. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we glorify your holy name. Despite of what we're passing through, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, you are worthy of all our praises. We exalt you above all the mountains that are before us, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, we exalt you, Lord, our God, above all the mountains that are before us, that the enemy has shed before us, O Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we lift your name on high, for you are able, more than able. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' name, the psalmist said that, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. In the name of Jesus, I want us to tell the Lord to make a declaration that I shall fear no evil for the Lord is with me. Praise the Lord. Lord, we shall fear no evil for you are with us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, even when things seem to make no meaning, you are with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we declare this afternoon as the cathedral, all saints cathedral, that we shall fear no evil for you are with us in the name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. I want us to ask the Lord to deliver us from all the troubles, financial troubles, marriage troubles in the marriage, ministry related troubles, here at all saints. Let us ask the Lord to deliver us from all the troubles. Lord our God, you told us to exercise our authority in you such that we conquer. Oh God, deliver us, deliver us, deliver us in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we command these troubles to live now. The financial troubles to live now in the name of Jesus. The troubles in our marriages, Lord, Leave, let them live now in your name. The troubles, ministry related troubles, here at all saints, we command them to live now. We ship them out of this cathedral. All the troubles related with the ministry, the ministry of the word and prayer, the pastoral ministry, administration, oh God, we command them to live now. We ship them out from this ground, from this cathedral, from this land, in the name name of the Lord Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. There is a story of this man called Job. So, <coughs> excuse me. Job, his wife told him, cast God and die. That's where the enemy is pushing the believers. He wants us to renounce our faith in Jesus and he knows, you know, if, let, 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 let me tell you this, if he achieves that, he knows that then he will have a what? A foothold against us. Praise the Lord. So I want us to pray. 
The Bible says that in all this, Job did not sin with his lips. The sin of the mouth, yeah, Job did not sin. In all that Job was passing through, he did not sin. Praise the Lord. So I want us to pray. You see, when the enemy sees you, when the enemy looks at us, that we are not bothered with uh, the storm that we are passing through, the storm, you see, when he sees that we are not bothered, do you know, he also becomes confused that I have done this, I have done this, I have done this, you know, I have shut this door, this door I have shut this door. But this person, this fella, seems not to be bothered. He's also confused. I want us to pray. You see, there is this man who had passed through a storm with his army. He's called David, king... Uh, by then he was not a king, by the way. First Samuel chapter 30, verse 6. David, he had lost the wives, all the wealth to the Amalekites with all his army. They had lost their wives. Do you know what happened? They even wanted to stone him. David, the Bible says, he strengthened himself in the Lord. So I want us to make a declaration. Praise the Lord. That our strength is in you our God this afternoon. The Lord who sees the things that we are passing through. You remember in that passage, he asked the Lord, should I, Lord, should I pursue them? So the Lord released him, he told him, go and pursue them. And indeed, David overtook them, he pursued them, he destroyed them, and rescued all the people and the, 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 the whatever the wealth which was taken. I want us to say, Lord, our strength is in you, the one who sees us through, the one who knows what we are passing through. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord Jesus, our strength as all saints cathedral is in you. You see us. Oh God, the experience of Hagar in Hagar chapter 16, she said, you are the God who sees Lord, the God of David, you are the Lord oh God, we strengthen ourselves in you because you know what you we are passing through this afternoon, oh Lord in the name of the Lord Jesus, praise the Lord now this could be the last because I'm seeing our time is far more spent this prayer item, you remember Jeremiah, Jeremiah the Lord, the Bible says, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5, the Lord knew, he knew you, each one of us, bef Excuse me. before we were formed in our mother's wombs. I want us to pray that and ask the Lord to realign us with his plans and purposes. Praise the Lord. Dear Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus, you knew us, Lord, before we were formed in our mother's wombs. In the name of Jesus, Lord, this afternoon, I pray that you meet that, uh, uh, that woman, oh Lord. You meet that man, oh God. Our brothers and sisters online, oh God, and realign them according to... Uh, you realign them, Lord, to your plans, your divine plans and purposes. In the name of the Lord Jesus, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So I want, uh, praise the Lord. Our time is for spent. So uh, I'm going to welcome Reverend, uh, uh, Reverend Mr. Sarah. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you. We just continue. Uh, one more thing and then we, we wind up. What sort of man is this that even winds and see obey him? No matter the circumstances we are going through, we have Jesus. Amen? Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Look to Jesus. Not the storm. Look to Jesus. 
Jesus, we pray this afternoon that you give us a clear view of who you are. That even the winds and the storms obey you. So it's you that we call upon this afternoon to calm down every storm in our lives. Which storm are you going through? Just whisper it to Jesus. He calms down storms. That's the faith he calls us to. A focus on him, not on the storm. A focus on his sovereignty, not on the storm. A focus that is able. A focus that is Emmanuel, God, with us. He says, I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. He says, I'll never leave you as orphans. So to you, Lord, we surrender. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen.